Arthur and welcome to Walking Talking Gardeners with your horticultural host, the lovely Lorna and the uh, uh, rather rough looking old man, Simon. Um, we're at the uh, Palera Gardens in Madeira and uh, it, it's warming up. It's lovely. It's warming up. Yeah, finally um, some sunshine. Yeah, we're, uh, we're on the outskirts of, um, I've forgotten the name of the town. What's the name of the town? Funchal. Funchal. And we can actually see that from here. So we've got a lovely view of the, uh, of the town lovely view of the sea and um, we're at some lovely 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 gardens so uh, we'll stop chatting and then uh, we'll have a look and uh, show you look. around well there you go that's the view of Fun Chow and the uh, just about to see the sea it's a bit hazy today so you can't see it too well Which, uh, one thing I noticed it feels like I'm just walking up here so it feels very English. It feels like I could be in Surrey, Surrey Hills with lots of trees, lots of grass areas. It feels sort of very, very parky. I mean, it's just very familiar. So obviously some of the plantings looking a bit interesting. So I have some, got some aloes and anomiums over there. So yeah. let's go and have a look and see what the differences are. Yeah, well this, this, you've got this little section here that looks uh, a little bit like an Italian style sunken garden. So yeah. did you want to look at that first or do you want yeah. to go down the, um, the hill? It looks like, you know, something that we'd be quite familiar with in the UK. Yeah, I think they're doing their roses nicer here. You know, I mean, that's very English style. It, it is, it does feel very English. Yeah, they have that high, well, they don't do it as well as that actually at high down, but they do that at high down. Yeah. And this would be a sort of typical sort of rose gum, but they've obviously not used box, they're using tiny, what is it? Contoniaster, is it? I, I'm not sure if that is a tiny con a micro. Do you know, I'm not sure that is either. I, I, I would have said maybe um, Lonacera. But it's I, very fine. Yeah. One. I mean, that's great for. Yeah. Yeah. Tofu, it looks I mean, amazing. They made it. it looks like they made a big nose. I can't be right. I must be <laughs> looking sure. at it from the wrong angle. I don't want to look at some of the others. They look a bit rude. Oh, this <laughs> yeah, the, yeah the, the, these, these ones. Uh, that's an, answers on the, in the comments. That's an unfortunate shape are. and we don't need to discuss. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. And, uh, and there's an identical one and we don't need to discuss that one either. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, we're stepping down. Oh, wonder, is it? Oh, oh. lovely. We're still loving the lizards. We had one in breakfast today. Not obviously to eat. Um, so we got came in. we got kind of Yorkstown crazy paving floor. Yeah. Which I'm surprised to see. And these are nice. More what, aloes. What do you think of the colour themes, Lena? Um. Yeah, I mean it's really green. I mean, it, uh, it, this is looking more Madeira. Is it actually the backdrop here? But um, yeah, it, it just felt really. Really English. I mean, these the red aloes are amazing, aren't they? I like them. And oh, those moons are lovely. I um, mean, it just looks stunning. Um, there's, there's nothing not to like here. I mean, you know, I'm not a big fan of the green anonymous. It but looks great. I think it's just been washed back into the background. Yeah. And oh, the purple's so much nicer. The purple's nice, but I, I like the green here. I think it actually really has a place. It looks really good. Yeah. But you've got a great sort of English. Yeah. Garden effect, but using Mediterranean yeah, plants. Which, which is great. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, nice lovely pond. Oh, little frog. Oh, you got frogs. You oh, got some frogs. Oh, baby froglets. They're so sweet. And little tadpoles. Well, actually, that's quite a fat tadpole, that one. Is that all the pies? Oh. That's so cute. It looks so happy. Nice bit of detail with the carved masonry. Yeah. The frogs sticking across. Um, so this is a bit, bit more overgrown, isn't it? It looks like we've got something more interesting at the back. Um, Do you want to look at the back? Yeah, it's going to look at that back border. It looks great. The viewpoint from here is obviously where you're supposed to see it. Your, your dragon tree and agaves. It's like your traditional rockery, isn't it? Yeah, there's, there's very. A very English feel to it. Yeah. You know, this is what you'd have in some really high spec parks. 
Wait a minute, that's, that's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, it's looking really good, isn't it? Yeah. Look, Tony Esther. Really good lines. I mean, this looks like a sort of seaside rockery. Yeah. I suppose it feels like it's quite shady, isn't it, with the trees? Yeah. It feels very English parkland. It, do, it does. Over there in the distance, you've got yeah. those large specimen trees. I mean, there's a big cedar there. Yeah, it does feel English parkland. The exception, obviously, of the yellows, which are stunning. I don't really, we've seen them used like this in sort of like a, no, not I mean, a blanket plant. We'd have sort of nifophias, wouldn't we, at home to have that yeah. effect? Wouldn't last as long as these, though. No. Uh, that's something making a weird noise. I don't know if you can hear that. There's a lot of these, don't they? I've, I've not seen the, the sort of pencil. But they obviously shipped a lot over <laughs> back in the day. You know, put them in a lot of these gardens. It's obviously the thing to have. <clears throat> Some sort of ferns and things in. I mean, it's got a very romantic feel, hasn't it? It, it really does. It's quite loose, the planting, but actually there's a lot of gardeners around maintaining it I don't feel it's not maintained it's just um, a loose style of of maintenance isn't it it's, it's lovely is that an ace that they planted over there yes an ace of palmatum I'm surprised that's doing well it's great doesn't it's it it's doing really well you wouldn't think it would cope with the heat or the light. Even better than ours. Ugh, ours are shocking. Yeah. Um, can I get past here? No, we've got some stairs. Just oh, okay. These look safe. <laughs> Used to stay wow, that one's wobbly. Watch out for the spine. Oh, yeah, oh, that's great. Yeah, you got that very spiny euphorbia just as you're scraping the skin off your legs as you walk past. There you go. Oh. Oh. Is that another eucalyptus? Oh. I would say. I'm going to say, bottle brush? bottle brush, yeah, look at how the, um... That's a bottle brush, I've never seen a tree, bottle brush tree, that big. Never seen it. I looked at the bark, I was thinking you could look just with a, a climber in it, yeah. but no. You can see those sort of like the old, um... No. It's amazing. I don't know what you call that, you know, there's sort of like little lines of, of old like buds. That's like a husky, yeah. Yeah. That, that is definitely wow. bottle brush. I don't know if it's got a label on the tree. It doesn't look I've like it's got any bark on the tree. I've never seen like that before. And there's a lot of eucalyptus here that they introduced. I've never seen that before. And um, I've never seen a, a bottle brush as a tree like that. Okay, there's a first. Wow, that was worth, uh, worth a visit for that alone. Look at that, you've got a ornamental cherry. Not it, the it, best. No, but it's, it's alive. Yes. Oh, it's, it leaves seem healthy. Yeah. Again, you wouldn't think it would take the heat or the light, but mm. there it is. Again, you can see newly planted, well looked after. It is maintained, yeah. Beds, it, they're pruned, they've got people around. There's a great attention to detail here. Yeah. Aloe wall, that looks nice. Oh, so we go across. Yeah. The, the roses are lovely, though. It feels like we should I like be that. at a wedding or something. After being. Have I mentioned <laughs> the wedding? <laughs> <laughs> we got married three weeks ago, so I'm allowed to mention the wedding. Fair enough. Um, after being completely disrespectful about roses and the, one or two yes, of our ones, this yes, is actually yes, really nicely done. This is really nicely done. I take it back as well. Climbing roses like this, done. Rambling. Rambling roses. Yeah, I can't stand climbing roses. <laughs> like this, looks stunning. I mean, it looks great. 
And again, you've you got something that's like a traditional English herbaceous border. Really, really English. Yeah. Oh, these are nice. So, uh, Lorna, tell me what this is. Strips, strips, lots. Strips stylus? Strips of stylus, thank you. I'm not sure if that is what that it is. It does, it looks like it. I would have thought. Okay, well, if we're wrong, and we apologise, because, you know, we're never, we're never going to get them all correct just from yeah, look, walking around looking at them. I looked at the leaves, they're quite blady, I, I yeah. the colour. Um, that's lovely. Now known as the Nile lily, we can't say what the old uh, the old name was, because it could be seen as offensive. It's got dahlias. Dahlias, yeah. yeah. Oxide. What's that? It's Rebecca. Yeah, it? I mean, this is really feeling like a typical English herbaceous yeah. border. By the way, if you know what that is, because that red is stunning, if you know what that is, and um, put that in the comments and let us know. And um, by the way, if you're enjoying these walks with me and Lorna in the gardens, then uh, click like. And uh, yeah, should you wish to <laughs> see more of these, then uh, subscribe too. I do. Oh, roses are great. Oh, this is another hydrangea. In a hydrangea? Oak leaf rose, no, no, just a slightly different, more sort of like a grape leaf, isn't it? Mm. That's a, the oak leaf I don't know goes across, I'm not sure now. But, Is it cerulata? Um, I don't know No, it's just quite, it's I'm not more sure. like the candelabras, isn't it? And holding it up, that's uh, just so delicate. We've got a lot of mop head hydrangeas here, um, seems to be used everywhere, but that's uh, a slightly different, more elegant. Yeah, it doesn't feel as though we're in a Madeiran garden compared to no. the ones. And look at the workmanship on that path, all those diagonals. That's, that has taken a long time. Yeah. It's beautiful, actually. It's like a patchwork. Yeah. Oh, I'm going up there. Look at that. I think it doesn't feel like a Madeiran garden because everywhere else are palm trees, yeah. um, tree ferns. Or it kind of, it hasn't, I mean, it's one or two, but probably like what you would have in an English garden. Obviously, they're obviously just important. they're not the main feature and you have these really mature trees that makes it feel very parky I mean these trees are massive well that, if I'm correct that's a liriodendron yeah look at it it is huge it is. that is quite I possibly the largest liriodendron I've ever seen in my life yes me too there you go liriodendron chilipifera um absolutely that does appear and like a talpa there's a good apple. What are the leaves? Indian bean tree. The leaf on that is huge, isn't it? Yeah. We tried growing one of these a couple of times and we removed the left it, but I don't know if it's Indian bean because it's quite a pod rather than a bean. Unless they're growing into beans. It's Indian bean tree. Not from India, as you would expect, but um, so called because of the Indians in. Well, we can't call them that now, that now because the indigenous. Uh, peoples of um, North yeah. America, nice. that kind of Indian. Look at this, this is, I wonder how old this is. There's a whip for that trunk. Oh no, and it's not, oh it is. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Proof Look that I you. actually named a tree correctly. I mean, can I just show how big this is? <laughs> Bigger than Simon. I think Simon's gob. Simon's gob. But. <laughs> yeah. It like, looks like we're at the Thank edge you. of the garden here. Yeah. Which way did you want to go? Put down there? Yeah. You got to see an oath this time. See that blue... Um, Blue flowering, it's not very healthy, but no. it's a sea knife, it's sure. Sometimes a 
don't know, she's part of the cabin or not. Oh, it could be. At this point, we usually walk into the complex teeth or something like yeah. that. Yeah, we, start, we are starting to lose detail. So, um, just wonder what was there. Uh, here, but another view. Yeah, there you go. It's a great view of the, uh, the town. The sea's just off in the distance yeah. on the left. I like that oak tree. Yeah. There you go. Lovely old English oak. Again, it's struggling a bit probably because of the heat. And oh, the camellia. Bracken. <laughs> not bracken. Yeah, well, that's bracken, surely. Yes, no, over, 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 a little bridge. <gasps> yeah, a little bit of a ravine. You see that orange, that, that touch of orange down there, that's um, Mont Breach, yeah. It's like a lay land, you know. It's probably like a few weeks yeah. ago. It's much cooler, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, every, every time we look at something, it, it, it like makes it look more English. Yeah, uh, you know what this one is? No. No, no, no. Bay. No. Oh. Check, check the leaves. They smell. The like... undulating oh. edge. It's a bit undulata. It is. Yes. <laughs> It is. I can see things up here that look interesting. It also looks private. I have a few, that's a fuchsia. I think so there's some palms that they were saying there's no palms. It was like part of the garden up here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna carefully and tastefully climb up this hill. Um, but I think that's. Oh no, that is, oh, I thought that's private, but no, we can walk round. Shall we walk round? We're back onto a mud path now. It's quite a long walk up from the gates oh. to start the garden. It's about half a mile walk down. Yeah, and lots of uh, private houses coming off with uh, private signs on there. Look at that, look at that. Wow. Big hole in there. Yeah. A small bear. Oh, oh anything could be in there. <laughs> So finally a few sort of palm trees, so it's a little bit more formal up here. Not another private area. But this could just be someone's garden. Yeah, it is how the gardens are open to the public, but the, the owners are still living in the property and a lot of this area is... Probably neighbours. Yeah, well, it, yeah, like it might be the neighbours. Uh, um, private, no entry. But I think the people just went through here. I don't know, I think this comes back to... But I don't think that's... I think that's bringing us back round to where we were. So it's just like a small path. We'll pond on the left. Beautiful. Have a swim in now. <laughs> mm. 
And it comes through back into the, the parkland. There is a tea house and something here, so we um, sure we have some more garden to discover. Wow, that everybody not going to see is tall. That is massive. The trees in here are enormous, aren't they? saying get out. Oh is he? No, I think this is coming back to our gardens. Over. We go back over yeah, this way. Uh, we're not sure, so we're getting a bit lost. Well, it is. We'll come join you again soon when we stop getting lost. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, and uh, see you next time.